this is just in case I forgot to do this in my last tutorial for how to render your Roblox character. I'm not going to go in depth on the rendering process or anything I did in my other video, but this is how you would render it like when I showed you in the other video uh, on Chrome. You could just go to your Roblox account, uh, you just go to your Roblox page, like, like this. And if you had the plugin installed right here, you could just click up, click up there, go like that, you know, uh, you know, just the basics right here. So, yeah, you have your set of Roblox character. It's already unlocked and stuff. It's anchored. No, it's not anchored. That's okay though. It's just a staying place in your studio. But anyway, some people can't do this. So. Yeah. Anyway, here's what you would do if you didn't have this plugin in for Chrome, and you just, you know, or just this just didn't work for you. Um, I had some someone telling me that when they exported it as an object, it was exported as a text file instead. Uh, I don't know how to help with that, but this might it might just be that whole process right there. But anyway, how you would do that is you go just open up Roblox Studio. This might actually fix that problem. Just open Roblox Studio. Uh, loading. Uh, I'll resume the recording once. Oh, never mind. It's already up. Okay. Or not. I'll resume once it's done loading and stuff. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I've, already, I've logged in now, and so you're gonna want to go to one of your places. Uh, pretty much any of them will work. I have some of these places that are just random that I or places that I've shut down or places that I made for pictures. I actually should keep working on that. That was really cool. But anyway, uh, I'm just gonna go to my green screen number one. This is like a place where you can pose or anything. It's just where I would go before I actually used Blender. Or if, like Blender wasn't working, like remember this makes this and blah. these were all the intros like or the screen for other videos like this was for the mid green sweater with the ripped jeans emoji outfit um, and the uh, green spring polka dot dress. This was when Blender was just stuck Blender. Like the, this was when the going with profile wasn't working because the outfits were done uploading, so I was trying to make the cover, but they're all uploaded now, so yeah. Anyway. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit play. Up here, uh, if it says, just the heads up, it's like stop. Alright, if it says run, you're just going to click this down and make sure you hit, hit play, because otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, so once you have it, have you have play turned on, you should have your character here. You don't want to move yourself. Uh, your character might start swinging their arms back and forth. Might, normally will, but... Uh, anyway, you're gonna want to click this down. As you can see, I have a lot in here, but what you're going to want to look for is player. It shouldn't flash like that. Well, I don't know. If it flashes like that, that's probably no problem. But anyway, you're gonna want to go back and go over here to uh, test, and you're gonna want to click pause. So it's not moving. See? Completely still, and the box is not moving. Let's get it selected. You're going to want to right click. And ungroup or just press control U. So once you do that, once you to ungroup that, you're going to want to hold control. Uh, I think it's the left control is one that you're supposed to use. But anyway, you're supposed to, you should unclick sound or an animate. I have the sprint script. You're going to want to get rid of that too. And you're going to get rid of the health too. So you're going to regroup that. It's okay if your hat's moving to the side like this, it's totally fine. They'll move back in a second. And in this stage, if you want to, you can change your character's face. Like so. Like, I might just. Like, something you don't have. I don't have a lot of faces. I just wear that one. Like, I don't know. Let's see if I want my character had to have the young face. I could just go down to their head. Um, these sounds are here. Uh, I'd recommend deleting these, too. That's actually something that I forgot was there, but delete those. And I'm going to delete the face, too. But. I'll add on a face like that. Oh, that was a dumb one. Okay. But, oops. Okay, um, control Z. 
Control Z. Control Z. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, whatever. That doesn't really matter anyway, okay. I don't know what this stuff is doing here. I'm going to get rid of it though. The player head. Yeah. Make sure you add the head selector, like, otherwise that's gonna happen. Yeah, I've got that on the ground. It's okay though, because it's not gonna save because we're just in this weird view. Anyway, once you have it like that, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna click it, right click, and you are going to want to copy it. And you're gonna want to you want to copy the stop. Uh, and you want to paste your avatar and just set it down somewhere. Uh, okay. So once you have it set down, it doesn't have to be like, directly on the ground or anything. It's just in my preference. But if it if this explorer thing happens over here and happens quite often, uh, that's okay. But anyway, you're sticking with it for now. You're gonna want to go to lock. You're gonna want to go to lock tool. And you're gonna unlock your character. Just leave it like that. Just don't wait, wait. You can anchor it if you want to. Like if you might come back here and you don't want it to fall apart, you can do that. And if you want to, you can pose your character here. And just you know, rotate the arms and legs. Just to be however you might want them to be. And yeah, just pose it however you want. And here's where an issue might arise is with the explorer. Is if this happens to you, you're just gonna wanna publish to Roblox, and it should save like that. And you're gonna wanna X out, and then you're gonna go back to Roblox Studio. It's kind of a little bit of a lengthy process here, but it is actually what I did before I actually started using Chrome. And there are a lot of cool things you can do. This Chrome is an okay program for in place of Internet Explorer. I'm not advertising or whatever, I'm just talking, trying to fill this empty space while this is loading. But anyway, like, here, if you go to Roblox, uh, if you add on certain, uh, okay, if you add on, like, this right here, this, the, the, the Stylish plugin, I have Skype on YouTube, but if you have the Stylish, then you can actually make it cooler, like, this is the basic for how Roblox normally looks, it's classic, or you can make it, or I have a set as Roblox landing, which is really, really cool. It's just much different and a whole lot more interesting, and it makes the page just a lot better looking. So, yeah, if, I, if you want me to do a tutorial on how to, like, uh, install those Chrome plugins, just let me know. Or if there's any, like, clothing items you want me to teach you how to make, I can do that too. Okay, back to here. You're gonna to want to go to the same place that you had picked before, and go your. So for me, it's green screen. And if that whole game is gonna open up over here, you just want to close out of that. That isn't necessary. As you can see, this is back. Or click this type of player right there, and you do not have to close your character here if you don't want to. Um, it's actually a lot easier here, and if your character glitches out, this is like just precaution. Other times it doesn't, but. Uh, I recommend renaming it to something else, like, like just spamming. And then you go to right click and click export selection like you would normally. Uh, I will save it to my desktop and I will just, you know, spam. And it will save. And then you just publish it to Roblox again. Okay, my brother is down here. You can see it says OU, but oh, whatever. You can just X out of there now. And your files should be over here. So just yeah, just you would just go to Blender as normal, and you know just delete your main block. Go to Import Wavefront, and make sure you import the OBJ file, which should be 411 like should be kilobytes instead of just bytes. But just import it. See over here, it just your character will appear like that sometimes. This is okay. This is why, if you're doing this, I recommend uh, I recommend posing your character beforehand. Otherwise, this will seriously mess up how you want your character to look. But anyway, same as always, just normal texture solid. And this is how it thinks you're at, you want your character to appear, just because of how you put it in a place. So you're just going to want to move it. It's okay if your mouse does this. It's supposed to. It's just so you can keep moving. Uh, and just move it so it's down in the middle of the grid. 
doesn't have to be exact, but it's better if it is. And it normally will do this if you just use the Chrome way. But again, some of you can't use Chrome like that, which is totally fine. And yeah, your character should just appear. But here's the thing, you can actually pose your character in, the, in, in Blender. If you want to right click on one of the limbs and you can like choose the curve tool. But because it's like this, it will actually move your whole character's limb like that, which is not something that you want. So I'd recommend, if you're doing it like this, you should pose your character well beforehand. And yeah, you should just, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll just do a speed of me making the thumbnail for this video. Alright. Uh, random tip, I forgot to include this while I was recording, I just realized it while I was making the uh, thumbnail for the video. Uh, when you are making rendering your Roblox character, here's just an example, but if you don't render it correctly, like, um, I don't know, oh, like this, you might, you'll get like a glare across your character's face or in a, like a place that just makes it look awkward. So it's important to make sure that you aim the actual light towards your character's torso, uh, like this. I specifically didn't close out the window. Oh, and you can't move like that, but anyway. So you're make sure that you aren't going to want to aim it at the character's torso, or it's sort of in the middle of their face, like right there above their mouth. And then if you click render, you will get an image like this, little album assigned to their hat and their torso and their body, but not on their direct face. So it should improve how it looks quite a bit. Alright, that was pretty much it. Uh, I'll see you in another video.